guys know what I'm holding right now? Can you see it? Probably from far away, you can tell what this is. But if you're really close, sometimes they're hard to identify because we're so used to seeing crepe myrtles blooming from a really you know, long distance away, 30 feet up in the air. But today I wanted to show you guys some of the details that make crepe myrtles so cool and then kind of show you guys how you should be picking which ones are best for your landscape. So you can see here these um, crepe myrtle blooms, the reason why they're called crepe myrtles crepe myrtles is because the blooms look like crepe paper. If you know what crepe paper looks like for birthday parties, it comes in a roll and you t twist it. Um, that's what these look like. They're kind of wrinkly and squishy. Um, they're really pretty. And did you know they have a fragrance to them? I'm standing next to them and they smell like a light rose. It's a really beautiful scent. And so if you're out and about and you've got this crepe myrtle full of blooms, you may not even know that that's what smells so beautiful, but that is probably what's what's happening. Um, and you can also see the range of colors that these come in. I'm not even holding all the colors that these come in. They come in some really deep burgundy, some bright reds, and everything in between. Um, and you can kind of see as I'm rotating around here, these are actually two very different colors when you see them as a whole uh, tree. Um, but they come in so many different colors, and what comes along with this is usually different sizes of tree at maturity. There's different um, bark patterns that happen with all these different trees. So, you know, usually people when they go to the nursery or they ask their contractor or their um, landscape designer which tree, people usually go by color. They just wanna choose the color. And that's really like a good place to start. But what you wanna do after that is really consider all the other elements as well. Single trunk, multi-trunk, um, how big it's gonna get, how close you're gonna put it to your house, um, and then what that barking structure looks like because some of them kind of have like a, a peeling that happens naturally. There's nothing wrong with a tree, that's just its natural um, habit to do it. So, you know, all those things combined can make some really beautiful um, blooming for your yard. Right now in Mobile, they're blooming for their second time this year. They bloomed in the spring and now they're blooming again um, in the heat of the summer. Maybe we'll get a third one, that would be amazing. But um, just know that there's so many different options out there. There's shrub um, crepe myrtles, there's very tall trees. And so there is a crepe myrtle that's uh, right for you and the color that you want, you just have to be sure to check out all the details and make sure that you're um, really honing in on the right one for you because it's very easy to get the wrong one and then you end up with a tree that's too big, too close to the house, and then you want to murder it. We don't murder crepe myrtles, you guys know that. So um, we're always talking about this on my Instagram and stories. So if you go there after this and send a comment, then we will have more conversations about crepe myrtles because they're my favorite.